I'm gonna learn some of the greatest magic tricks in the world, and at the end, I'll be performing in a magic show in front of a live audience. Let's roll the intro. So I bought us this official magician's costume. It's a kid size, but I feel like that Perfect should be fine. You. And then I bought us this official magic set with 45 magic tricks inside. Wow. So today we're gonna have to practice and become real magicians because at the end of the video, and I forgot to mention this part to you, we're actually gonna be performing in a real magic show in front of an audience. What is this show? Oh yeah, that's the other thing. The show's tomorrow and it's in Texas. Say no more. <laughs> All, right. All right. I don't know how small this is. I know it's a kid size. You look like Dracula. <laughs> I want to show you a magic trick. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah cool. I look. I feel cool. For the next couple hours, Steve and I learned countless magic tricks. They even had a video of real magicians showing you how to do them. Most of the tricks were not very impressive. Clearly not. There's nothing in here. Yep. What? Wow! A live bunny in the hat. Magician never tells his secrets. <laughs> How'd you do that? It's in my fake thumb. Wait, did you not know? <laughs> By the end of the day, we actually started getting the hang of things and actually started coming up with some cool tricks. What? Get out of here. Oh no. Oh, whoa. Oh! Wow! Yeah. <laughs> oh. Later that day, Sam got home from work and we decided to practice for our magic show by putting on a little magic show for her. And poof, it's gone. Wow, <laughs> that's magic. Good. Yeah, that's really good. good. You I know even, how he did it? No, I even have my glasses on. See, I told you, that's a good one. Wow, that's pretty good too. Oh, I see it's taped here. <laughs> <laughs> Pick a card, any card. Is this your card? That is. Was it actually? Yeah. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you feel like a magician yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst magic kit ever. All right, so you go home. I'm going to stay here. We need to practice because we have our magic show tomorrow. And uh, the last thing I forgot to mention, we're each going to be giving our own magic show and the audience is going to vote on whose they like better. All right, so we flew all the way to Austin, Texas. We are backstage right before the magic show is about to go on. Mm -hmm. It's also my bachelor party, which you guys just watched that vlog last week, and the audience is 10 of our best friends. So it's not that bad. Do you want to go first or should I? You do it first. I right. You can see we really planned this out very well. Yeah. Gentlemen, put your hands together for Harry who dumbass. Great Brandini. Uh, the Great Brandini. Sorry, I lost my voice. Because... He made his voice disappear. Good crowd. Good crowd. Good crowd today. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with a joke. I like to start all my performances with a joke, okay? Why do dinosaurs not make very good pets? Because they're extinct. Well, it's <laughs> because they're dead. Oh. Those. For my first magic trick, I call this one the, I don't have a name for it, but I have a matchstick in my hand. Can you confirm? Matchstick? Yes. It's a matchstick. But with a little magic, a little great Brandini magic, uh, <sighs> So you must be wondering where is the matchstick? I want the matchstick, I need to light a candle. What? Wow. 
for my next trick, I will need a volunteer. Kenny, this is a deck of cards. I will let you look at it. I will let you smell it. I will let you lick it. I will let you do whatever you want. You can count it. As long as you can confirm that's a real deck of cards. Looks like a deck to me. Thank you. Pick one. <laughs> Showmanship is my strength. <laughs> show that card to everybody in the room. You could show it to Steve. You could show it to Ben. You could show it to anyone, but don't show it to me. Does everybody remember the card? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Can you reach into your pocket? <laughs> well, it's not in his pocket, but it's in mine. Was that not the card? <laughs> so this is an ordinary bottle of water. This is an ordinary quarter. So this is my final trick, and I will say I apologize for screwing up the card trick earlier. But let's come back to it. Now, we, we saw Kenny. It wasn't in his pocket. Now, our buddy Alex was sitting miles away from this act. Alex, do you have a card on you? Not that I'm aware of. Not that you're aware of. And I'm going to ask you to reach into one of your pockets. The four of diamonds. The great Brandini, everybody. I'm here once a year. All right, I just finished my set. I absolutely killed it. I mean, I do want to make an excuse. Now, this is a small excuse, but you have a little bit of uh, magician background. Do I? Oh, in third grade? It was third grade. Third grade talent show. So you've been a magician for like 20 years. That's a good point. Yeah. What am I introducing you as? Magic Ian. I got it right off of the box. It says magician. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, may I introduce the, the final act of the night? His name is Magic Ian. Who's ready for some magic? <laughs> Steve dazzled the captivated crowd with a couple final magic tricks and then it was finally time for the vote to see who was the best magician. If you thought the great Brandini was the best, <coughs> this would be the time to... Would you like Steve? The... Yeah. 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 For my final act, I will take Brandon. I need you to go outside. There we go. And I have made Brandon disappear. Let's have some fun.